everyone, I am back with another kind of summer inspired makeup look. I wanted to do another fun bright makeup look that it's a, a bit more natural. This is definitely something you can wear just for every day to feel good and look good. I was inspired by a picture I saw of the actress Selma Hayek and she had this really pretty like cat eye look and then like a beautiful bright lip. If you wanna see how to do a cat eye, I walk you through step by step on how to get this um, subtle natural cat eye. I try to simplify it as much as possible so you guys can recreate this on your own. And then we did this gorgeous bright lip with just lip glosses so it's a bit more natural i use two lip glosses that i'm totally loving right now they're called flickable lip glosses and that's how i got this gorgeous lip and i absolutely love it and the rest of the look is pretty simple so if you guys want to see how to get this salma hayek inspired natural summer makeup look just keep watching i'm starting by prepping my eyes with a little bit of Max Painterly Paint Pot, which is a great eye primer for any makeup look. I'm taking a nude colored eyeshadow and applying it all over my lid. This color that I'm using is by MAC. It's called Brulee. Next, I'm taking a warm brown eyeshadow, and the one that I'm using is from the Naked Palette. This one is called Buck, and I'm applying it in my crease with my blending brush. This is Mint Brush 20. Applying this color in our crease is going to help us give shape to the eye in a very subtle, natural way. Using that same color, now go in with a smaller pencil brush. This is Mint Brush 24, and we're going to apply that color along our lower lash line. And this is another way to create a beautiful shape to your eye without it looking overdone and just still keeping the look really natural. Going back with my flat eyeshadow brush, I'm using a pale shimmery color. This is version from the Naked Palette. And I'm using this color to highlight underneath my brows. Next, I'm taking my favorite brush for doing a cat eyeliner, Mint Brush 32, and the Makeup Forever Aqua Black, which is a great cream liner. For this liner look, we're gonna keep the wing a bit more subtle. So one of the easiest ways to do this is you want to look straight into the mirror. Following your bottom lash line, you're going to pretend that you're drawing a line from your bottom lash line to figure out where exactly you want this liner to end. So I'll show you guys one more time. So pretend that you are drawing a line from your bottom lash line and you're following that shape and that's where you know where to draw the line for the wing for your top lash line. Next, I like to start right at the middle of my lid because that's when you have the most product on your brush and it's okay if you have a lot of product because that's the thickest part you want the line to be. So I'm just drawing this line right across my lid up to that little wing that we created. Once you have that, then you can start drawing in from the inner corner. And you remember, you wanna keep it thin and make it thicker as you come out to the outer corner. once you have that initial shape then you can go in and thicken that wing what I like to do when I'm doing this part is to go rather than from inside out I like to go from outside in I find that helps to get the best shape and that's as easy as it is for getting that perfect cat eyeliner Next, you want to curl your lashes and apply mascara top and bottom. I also applied a very natural pair of false lashes similar to the ones that Selma's wearing. For foundation, I'm using the Makeup Forever HD foundation and I'm using my Scump Brush. This is Mint Brush 42. 
The Sun Crush is a great option when you want to do a really quick foundation application. I'm adding a little bit of concealer under my eyes. I'm using a Max Select Cover Up Concealer and Mint Brush Number 12 Concealer Brush. For blush, I'm using this beautiful peach blush from MAC. This is called Peach Twist, and I'm applying it with Mint Brush 46 Blush Brush. For the eyebrows, I'm keeping them pretty natural. That's how Selma usually wears them. What I'm using is my spoolie side of my double-ended brow brush. This is Mint Brush 36. I'm using the Gimme Brow from Benefit in light, and just running that through the hairs without over applying. I'm letting the brows just look a little bit more undone. For the lips, I want to do a really fun bright lip color but still uh, keeping it very natural. I'm going to be using two colors from Flickable Lip Glosses. These glosses are absolutely gorgeous. I love their texture. They go on super, super smooth and they're extremely moisturizing on the lips, which is really important for lip gloss. So the first color I'm using is Better Off Red. Oh my God, that's gorgeous. You could also wear them pretty sheer, just like what I'm doing now. Or you can go back and build the color a bit. These are my favorite type of glosses that have like this really clear shine to them. They're easy to work with, plus they're totally not sticky, which is very, very important. Depending on how bright you want this color to be, you could build it you could obviously build it and make it brighter but I'm not trying to go too too bright with this instead I'm gonna add a bit of a pink to it as well more in the center of the, of the lip this color is called do you pink I'm sexy so funny <laughs> oh I love that it totally gives that 3d effect on your lip I am going to include a link to these lip glosses below so you guys can check them out and buy them and get them if you want to try them because they're awesome. Flickable lip glosses, you guys will love these. And that is it, that is the final look for this Salma Hayek inspired summer makeup tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. If you recreate this look, please make sure that you tag me so I can see it and I would love to post your version of this look. And you can tag me on Twitter and Instagram at Iman Makeup. And leave me comments below. Let me know what you guys think. This is totally my type of makeup look. I love it because it's still natural and super pretty and it just kind of gets the job done. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. I will see you again very soon. love that we just use cream shadows on the eyes and um, the skin looks